first time he showed up was pretty, I mean, it's been special, he's said two, two now, and, right, yeah, three? Three, he said three, yeah, and the, but the first time he showed up, especially, it was, he couldn't help himself, like, he would applaud after every single rehearsal, like, <laughs> like and, and which would make the crew, you know, kind of excited, and most of everybody, I think, on our crew and in the cast is, has been fans of his work. But especially the crew, you could feel the, the kind of excitement the whole time he was around. Um, and I think he actually, when I put on the suit for the first time with him, he cried. I, he, he did. I had a tear. He actually for like, oh, wow. he, yeah, I think he, yeah. Um, but one of the first scenes I shot with him was a scene with John Wesley's ship. Um, I want to say when... John Wesley's ship was still playing Henry Allen, and yeah, and it was Barry and Henry, and he was like, like, like sobbing, like it, it, every single time, and, and then he would just like, get it off of them, like after every take, and applaud after every take, he just loves what he does, and it's also contagious, I mean, it's great to work with. Do you take that as a sign of like, I think we got it in this take, or like, we, we need to go again? Yeah, <laughs> no, follow, your director like is following. Yeah, like, pretty good job after every take with Kevin Smith. Uh, I'm curious, what do you admire most about your characters? Um, probably Barry's optimism. That yeah, I think he's you know struggled to hold on to the last season with what with, he was dealing with with uh, impending death this year. Um, uh, but uh, his, his optimism, I think, is something I've tried to kind of weave into my life the last few years, for sure. Yeah, there's lots of lots of love about that. Uh, uh, <laughs> He's a high tool, you know. I like his dress sense. He dresses really well. He's got a nice face. He's got a nice yeah. His face is amazing. All right. <laughs> Uh, I do like his sort of um, cynicism, slightly, uh, slightly, it's a very British sort of, you know, um, false sense of, of, of wit. Really, he's quite dry. I like that. I actually, I actually think, without spoiling anything, I was campaigning. Can I say? I yeah, say we should talk about this. Well, yeah. look, pretty early on, it was apparent <laughs> that Grant and Tom were getting on rather well, uh, and Barry and Julian quickly became. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. We were shipping yeah. each other together. We started a ship. <laughs> and I, 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 was, I was very passionate. This isn't weird. This isn't weird. I told you. Like, <laughs> you, you will learn that this is actually not a weird conversation to be having. <laughs> I'm getting a bit nervous now. Yeah. But yeah, I genuinely thought it would be a lovely twist if, towards the end of the season, Barry and Julian ran off together. <laughs> <laughs> To reveal some kind of other like feelings, yeah. potentially. Yeah, yeah, just for like a little undertone. Yeah, that Barry is just going to probably reject, mind you. But <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we thought it'd be kind of funny or fun rather to go in that direction because we have such fun chemistry. But they were, they didn't bite. We <laughs> <laughs> didn't go with it straight away, so. There's future seasons to look forward. Fingers crossed. We'll see, yeah. It's also, you do have a show where you know, there's multiple like realities, and you just make a pitch for like... That's true, like Earth 5, where like, we've been together for 30 years. <laughs> This is why I like these things. It's like a melting pot of ideas. This is good. It's a good brainstorm session. Yes, yes. Um, I saw a description of your character, and one of the like skills listed was deception, which is the like, most bizarre trait I feel like someone can have. But I'd like to know if you could describe each other using a few adjectives, what would it be? Because it's hard to describe yourself. Uh, I mean, just, just speaking of characters, it's a little bit. A little bit. No, no, no. Like each other's people. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I could certainly, you know, what's, what's the word you use for Barry? You said optimism. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, I've never, in a, uh, without blowing too much smoke up his backside, I've okay. never seen the workload that these, well, that, that, that Barry, that Grant has to deal with really over the last 10 months. It is absolutely extraordinary <laughs> the amount of hours that this man has to work, let alone to have to come out with a, a TV show. And even more remarkable that it's a good TV show. Uh, you know, they're doing an episode every week, more or less, and they're having to churn it out at quite 
a rate, and I've never, not for a minute, seen this man's enthusiasm or passion for it, or, or, or you know, his patience for it waver, and, and really that sets the tone. The moment Grant gives Who up. Who being too kind? No, I'm being genuine. Trust me. The moment that you give up, and the moment you say sod it, then the rest of us do the same thing, and that never happens. So it uh, makes it very easy for the likes of me, who have only come in for half a day here, or bits and pieces, though. I get super excited to be part of Team Flash, what can I say? Grant, is there anyone to ask you? <laughs> can you take me back to season four? <laughs> you you realize you either just broke the internet or became a meme, like, right? <laughs> Um, you, we never answered the question. Uh, I don't, I don't, what's the question? I don't even remember. I don't know, yeah. No. I couldn't possibly use one word to describe Tom Felton, though. He's enough yeah. you. He used many. He used many nice words. That's, yeah. That's enough nice words, isn't it? Let's get to Okay, the, let's get to the dirt. Um, uh, I'd like to know what inspires you. What's, I mean, many things, yeah. Um, I, yeah, I mean, the, 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 honestly, on a daily basis with the show, it's the crew that inspires me to, to like you say, I mean, it's hard hours. To, they work longer hours than me. So it's, uh, they've been there every single day, and it's not, you know, they don't have the luxuries that I have throughout the day to go back to my trailer with my, my dogs on a, you know, a hard filming day. They're staying on set. Yeah, they're somewhere around. Um, they're, they're, they're somewhere around down the street. <laughs> Go get them. Right? No, I'll be right back. Yeah. He's really fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess on a daily process for filming, yeah, the, the most inspiring thing for me to keep going is the crew, just how hard they work. But um, I, I mean, I'm inspired by so many things. Yeah, I mean, half of it to me is what is art, isn't it? It's watching stuff, it's listening to stuff, it's uh, it's hearing what other people have been watching, and, and uh, you know, you know that thing where someone comes in and they're like, oh my god, have you seen this episode of this? And then that sort of spreads around. Before you know it, you're uh, heavily inspired to write your own thing, or to, to, to like Tom and Grant are doing with the um, with the show. You sort of Mm -hmm. spring off of each other. And that really did come from us, just like the way we joke around yeah. on set. Like we have. It's very annoying with well, our style of comedy. Um, we literally just create bits that no one we keep doing until someone laughs. Like, um, do you adjust them or do you just we can just swear like it like it until right? someone's like ha ha ha? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, so that's kind of the short. So you'll love it. Uh, we'll have to watch it a hundred times. Yes. But do you disconnect? Do you like watch movies and TV, or do you find that it's like too close to what you're doing every day? To... No, I mean that's not. I mean one of the things that inspire me. Yeah, I watch movies and TV constantly, and things that I love, and I'm like, why aren't we doing that? Like that's like you know, it's stuff. To, yeah, I always want to see something that I love to push us to be better. Yeah. Yeah, and you never uh, never sit on the laurels, are we? It's always constantly. Well, you are anyway. Always trying to find some way of. Uh... <laughs> Improving the show or making it, uh, you know, making it more current or rambling now and then. <laughs> Inspiration, we go back to that. We can go back to that, sure. Oh, I'm good for that one. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, how do you disconnect? Like, what do you do in your free time? PlayStation. <laughs> Which play? I play a lot of like sports, video games, but I'm playing some other stuff too. Like I've, yeah, uh, Uncharted, Four. Yeah. Uh, I've never been into like first-person shooters, but I'm getting into them recently. I'm getting into them now. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Still in my own time. Yeah, no, it's a lot of video games. Yeah. Annoying. My girlfriend probably. Dogs. Dogs, yeah. I hang out with the dogs a lot. I'm a homebody. Everything I do to disconnect is in my apartment mostly. Other than walking the dogs around the block. That was like a sort of start out cortex, isn't it? Where you've got like, you know, all your screens, all the necessary apparatus with it. It's like that. Should I go on? 
Go on. <laughs> uh, this is you and Tom. Okay. Uh, I like to play guitar. I like to be outside. Um, you know, shooting the talking nonsense and just generally, uh, yeah, goofing around to be honest. Skateboard a lot. Skateboarding. Meeting strangers is always a fun one. You know, I like to. He's serious. He loves people. Yeah. I'm more scared of that. Yeah. Well, actually, I was, quite, I, was, I was always trying to encourage you in that regard. You are, you are. I'm here because of you, actually. Well, I, I really know it's true. I, 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 I